1. Regular exercise Regular exercise helps keep your spine strong, regardless of whether you have scoliosis. But doing targeted exercises can help strengthen and even help realign the spine safely and effectively. In a systematic review published in Biomed Research International in 2015, researchers concluded that, as per moderate quality evidence, an exercise program is superior to controls in reducing the Cobb angle, angle of trunk rotation, thoracic kyphosis angle, and lumbar lordosis angle as well as improving the quality of life in patients with adolescent idiopathic scoliosis, ACE. Regular exercise to manage scoliosis further, the study shows that, as per low-quality evidence, an exercise program is superior to controls in reducing average lateral deviation in patients with ACE. How to? Stretching Stretching helps a lot if scoliosis starts causing pain. It helps reduce pain by releasing tension in the muscles surrounding the spine as well as improving flexibility and increasing your range of motion. Plus, it increases blood flow to the joints, which helps keep the body limber. A 2015 study published in the Journal of Physical Therapy Science reports that consecutive application of stretching, shroth and strengthening exercises may help reduce Cobb's angle and the rig hump in adults with a diapathic scoliosis. Two popular stretches for scoliosis are the chest stretch and the right angle wall stretch, Chest stretch Chest stretch for scoliosis Stand straight with your feet shoulder width apart. Bring your arms in front of your chest. Slowly, pull your arms backward and press your shoulder blades together. Try to stretch the chest as much as you can. Take a break for a few seconds and repeat again. Do it for 10 minutes at a time, a few times a day. Right angle wall stretch Right angle wall stretch for scoliosis Place your hands on a wall at shoulder level 3. Active self-correction Active self-correction is a corrective movement that is performed according to the level of impairment, the morphologic features and posture. Active self-correction for scoliosis The main aim of this technique is to restore a position as close to physiologically normal as possible. This simple technique comprises movements performed in all spatial planes, coronal, sagittal, horizontal, in an overall vertical anti-gravitational direction. When done correctly, it simulates situations and movements in daily life. A 2015 study published in Scoliosis and Spinal Disorders highlights the benefits of the 4. Acupuncture Acupuncture is another effective option to relieve scoliosis discomforts. In acupuncture, certain acupuncture points are stimulated that help improve scoliosis pain. Acupuncture Therapy for Scoliosis A 2008 study published in Scoliosis and Spinal Disorders reports that one session with real, verum, acupuncture seems to have an influence on the deformity of scoliosis in patients with a curvature of no more than 35 degrees. However, further investigation of the effect of acupuncture in treating patients with scoliosis is needed. A 2009 study published in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine reports that acupuncture was associated with a reduction in the degree of curvature in a 74-year-old woman after two years of conventional medical treatment. 5. Chiropractic Manipulation Chiropractic care is an increasingly popular treatment for people suffering from scoliosis. A chiropractic manipulation theory is based around an exercise program that was used in order to prevent the natural progression of adult scoliosis. It can reduce physical discomforts as well as provide positive physiologic benefits. Chiropractic Manipulation for Scoliosis A 2006 study published in Chiropractic and Osteopathy reports that chiropractic treatments provided positive results in people suffering from scoliosis. A 2011 study published in the Journal of Chiropractic Medicine reports that after completion of a multimodal chiropractic rehabilitation treatment, a retrospective cohort of 28 adult scoliosis patients reported improvements in pain, Cobb angle and disability, immediately following the conclusion of treatment and 24 months later. A 2015 study